Like, I don't like that shit. I mean, even like the hand over the nose and the that's mouth. Fine. That's fine. You're smothering me. That's okay. Really? That's... Yeah. That, I'm fine with that. When you like, this is bad. Choking my face is fine too. Like, I'm okay with that. Pissing me off a little bit. Like, I'd rather have you get under my neck, but anything from the nose down is still a choke as far as I'm concerned. But you stick your fucking hand like this and try and shovel my nose. I'm going to be furious. I don't give a fuck if you're a chick or a dude. That's... I'm going to want to fight you after that. I met my chick at the gym, but very rarely does it work out, dude. Most of the time, it's like you know, guys man. break up. You're still in the same gym, and then you watch every single one of your friends Try to hit on her or start fucking her, and you're like, you're like I'm yeah, out. no, thank you. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> like, out. I'm good. Dude. I'm out. I bet Fuck you. that. There's not a lot of girls at. Well, I don't know. I don't go to the afternoon classes. I don't see a lot of girls at the gym. But even, at ours, there's not a whole lot. Um, other gyms, it's it's I've very never, much like a small percentage of women. I've never trained at a gym where there's like a lot of women. I told you about like that boxing coach, mm-hmm. right? When I started going to the local boxing gym here, and that dude was just checking her out, and I was just like. All right, well, I can never come back here. I mean, right, it, to just get real creepy. Yeah, and a lot of dudes do. You know what I mean? Like, I've had girls come up to me afterwards. Like, I roll with girls super mellow. Like, I'm not trying to fucking touch you. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. I, we're doing jujitsu. This isn't like a fucking date. You know what I mean? So, I'll have girls that come up to me and be like, yo, dude, that guy was like being real fucking aggressive with me. Or, dude, that guy creeped me the fuck out, dude. Like, I don't. You know what I mean? I'm like, which guy? That one? What's up, buddy? Hey, you want to go? How's it? How's it going? And I'll just fuck that dude up. You know what I mean? Are you whispering in his ear when you're fucking him up? Uh, no. Like, like afterwards, I'll tell him though. Don't be a creep. Don't be a fucking weirdo and just put him to sleep. No, afterwards I'll be like, hey man, next time like you want to roll with women, like maybe take it easy. You know what I mean? Or the, there's a situation with my coach's wife, uh, <laughs> where this guy like. She, t- I think she told him that like this guy was being weird with her or some shit like that. And then afterwards, he comes up to my coach and was like, "Hey, who is that girl?" He's like, "I don't know. Why? What happened?" He's like, "Dude, that girl fucked me up. <laughs> she hurt me. <laughs> like it was his wife." Dude. Oh shit! But she's she's really good, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, if you want to be a piece of shit, like she'll fuck you up, dude. Don't be a piece of shit. Yeah, you, you deserve know? to get your ass kicked. Yeah, yeah. And you know how I teach. I don't teach like that. No. Like, I want everything to be super inviting for everybody. We're here to learn. We're not yeah, here yeah. to, like, be dicks to people. I don't I don't dig that shit. I don't, I don't really think you get anything out of it. No. If we're competing, like, if we're doing, like, an in-house tournament or something, go for broke. But at the same time, like, if you feel like somebody's going to get something broken, let it go, dude. It's, it's not that important. It's really not. Now, if that same person is outside of the gym... And you can't get away from that situation. Fucking, dude, do what you got to do. Cripple them. Like, make them never forget your name. You know what I mean? That's how I think. But inside the gym, dude. Yeah, it'd be yeah, nice. Be nice, man. Like, I should be able to give you a hug afterwards. You know what I mean? And if we can't do that, then there's a problem somewhere. That's fucking the egos get in, get in it. That's all it is, dude. It's like we'd have dudes walking on the kickboxing gym and then... It's like, they're just trying to fuck you up. They're trying to go for a knockout. And it's like, dude, chill the fuck out, bro. And it's like, chill out, chill out, chill out. All right, dude, I'm going to let kick the fuck out of you now. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, this is sparring. This isn't a real fight, dude. Yeah. Like, you understand that, right? Like, we're just moving. Yeah. Like, we're trying to get better. Yeah, we're trying to get better. And I just, like, I'm hurt, too. You know what I mean? Like, I got a bad neck. I got a lot of fucked up shit on my body. You know, from jujitsu because I didn't spend a lot of time like rehabbing myself, and because of that, when I do roll, like I rolled last week at Orange, I haven't been able to roll since because my neck's all fucked up. Like my shoulders fucked up, my back's fucked up. I feel stingers in my hand, like, and my arm was like this for like three days, I, like couldn't move it. You know, so I don't, I don't need to prove anything, and I don't need you getting all aggressive with me, and I'll fuck you up with just the other hand. I don't, I don't need both of them. You know what I mean? So, dude, so you're like a you're like a brown belt. That's like it's like white, blue, brown, white, blue, purple, brown, and then black. oh, brown, then black, then black. Oh, yeah. So you're like one level from black. Yeah, yeah but you're probably fucking up some black belts. Uh, yeah. I mean, I fucked black belts up when I was like a blue belt, and you know what I mean. But that doesn't 
Because it doesn't you, mean anything, dude. Yeah, you're you could always be like, a, my belt doesn't matter. And I think that's so Belt brilliant. doesn't mean shit, dude. It's yeah. arbitrary. You know what I mean? Realistically, like, if you want to compare it to a fight, like, things are going to go way differently. Because if I feel like you're doing something to me and I can't get out of it, like, other things are going to come into play. Whether that's, like, me sticking my finger in your eye or me stabbing you. Like, I always have you a went knife on me. That. Like, I'll, I'll stab you. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? I got kids to go home to. This isn't a tournament. Like... I'm having to fight for my life. Like that's different. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not taking a chance. I don't want to be doing jujitsu. Like the only jujitsu I'd want to do is possibly arm drag you. And that's, it's more wrestling than jujitsu to be honest. Like, you know, and then choke you, take you down to the ground, do something like that if I have to. But if I get you down to the ground, I can get up and run at that point. So there's really no need for me to hold you on the ground unless I need assistance from my police officers so that you can be arrested you know otherwise why am i holding on to you i mean just hopefully you're, what if your friends are there i'm gonna get kicked in the face like i don't yeah. i don't know that situation oh but dude then you're putting yourself at risk for so much injury like if dude, you're throwing if, down on the streets like fuck there's good, so dude. much that can go wrong yeah even just like you go to punch like i did and like i i think i punched the side of his head because he moved and like, I broke my hand, dude. Yeah. And I can't do anything that I could before. Like, I can't paint as good as I used to. I can't airbrush as good as I used to. Luckily, there's iPads, so I can still draw because it kind of autocorrects a little bit. But if it wasn't for that, dude, I'd be fucked. I wouldn't be able to do a lot of the shit that I do for a living. You know? And all because of some dumb shit when we were drunk. You know, fuck all that. Yeah, that's what happens. You're like, high level jiu-jitsu and you're punching somebody. Oh, well, it was even yeah. before I did jiu-jitsu. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? If I did jujitsu so at that worse. point, it would have been it, that would have gone down way differently. You know what I mean? Way differently. I feel like once you once you start training though, like things stop happening. Yeah, unless you're the guy that's. It depends on the gym you're at. You know what I mean? The gym that I was at, like, you know, Tony Ferguson was there. Like Ashley Evan Smith. Like there's a lot of fighters there, but we're still like everybody's really chill there. You know what I mean? Everybody's super inviting. Like. It, there, our coaches weren't telling us to like fuck people up, but they came from a gym that was like, "You're hurt. We don't care. You better be in here." You know what I mean? That was the kind of mentality. That's why my coach is all fucked up, because there was no like, "Hey, I noticed that you're like walking like this. Like, yeah, <laughs> maybe you should take a day off." It was like, "Don't be a bitch." Like, you know, and I think that that's good mentality to have about some things, but not like when it pertains to your body, dude there's certain things that yeah dude work through that shit like stop being a pussy yeah but other times yeah dude like you, you need to take a day off but with jujitsu dude you can do it nice and slow and the slower you do it in my opinion the better and you're developing muscle memory because the faster you do it because you, you don't know it and you're doing it real fast and then you're just making fuck ups throughout the way and then you go to do it on somebody you're like hey coach why isn't this working I'm like well you're doing it all wrong and then I got to rewind all that shit that you've been doing. And you keep doing it right in front of me. You know what I mean? I'm like, no. Put your hand here. Here? No, no dude. Over yeah. there. <laughs> like, And then you go to move somebody's hand and you're like, this, this right here, like when I can't move your hand, that's the issue. Like loosen up, dude. Be like a wet noodle. And then once you can finally get that concept, I feel like you can learn a lot better. But a lot of people just, it's kind of lost on them it's hard dude it's hard to like comp like if people have never had like i feel like in jiu-jitsu a lot of times you get people who have no like athletic backgrounds a lot of times yeah and so then this is like the first go at it and then it's like they've had so many years of just pent-up aggression that they've never been able to let out and like this is their first avenue to try to get it out so they're trying to like get it out all at once or they have the like Maybe they were bullied and like they don't want to be bullied anymore and so like this is their chance to like fight back and then now they're doing it in the controlled environment. So it's hard for them to then just say like, oh, no, yeah, you can fuck me up. Like, it's cool. Like, oh, you want to take my arm? All right, go. All yeah, right, I mean, you just, I think that there's also to like, yeah, you can let somebody take your arm. But who are you letting take your arm? Because if you're letting that dude that's going to go zero to 100 break. Oh, no, like, that's going to break your arm. Don't fucking let that dude take yeah, your yeah. arm. Like, if you're getting here and you feel like it's going to go and you know that's that dude. No, I'm tapping. You, yeah. you tap or don't roll with that dude. You know what I mean? That's the only choice you really have. If you continue to roll with that dude and you're like, dude, I got fucked up from that guy. Like, that's not his fault. 
I mean, it's his fault for rolling like a dickhead, but it's your fault for continuing to roll with a dickhead. Like, don't roll with him, and you won't have those issues. Oh, that's real good. Yeah,